Is this the most complicated stage in new skincare product development? So I want to launch my product. Uh. Then they tell me so many documents need to prepare. Uh. At first, don't tell me. Uh. Then after that, they tell me, what oh, are those mother Now, well, I have to spend so many time to do all this documentation. Uh. Every day, day in, day out documentation. Then I don't need to build my own business already uh, like that. Huh? Yes, different countries have different set of regulations. For example, Malaysia have Malaysia regulations, Indonesia have Indonesia regulations. So you need to understand all of these countries' regulations, only then you can start to export your product to these countries. Because, for example, in India, your product need to be registered there also. And they have very different regulation compared to Malaysia. For example, they cannot use whitening in their product. You need to change your product name, exclude the whitening. So this is very difficult situation where you need to re-register your product in Malaysia, removing the whitening part and then change into the new name, get the new notification number so that you can get your certificate of resales. Only then you can start to export to India. So it will be preferable for you to go and look for a good OEM manufacturer which have their own regulatory teams so that you can put aside the regulatory part. Happy compliance, happy launching.